Workout 2, Workout 2, we are on Workout 2. Hello guys, are you ready for Workout 2? Have you got your TheraBand ready? I hope so. Do make sure that you've had your check by your GP before you exercise with me today, that you can join me for this exercise regime, that you've got comfortable clothes, a drink of water to hands, you've rolled up any slips, trips or hazards, and you've got a sturdy chair you can work out on. Let's get going. So shuffling to the front third of the chair, lift your toes up, tuck the therabands underneath and bring your hands up to your hips. Now you're going to come up for a stand and then sitting back down again. Ready, 45 seconds, here we go. Now you can use the arms of the chair to help guide you if you want to, that's totally up to you. Or if you haven't got arms like me, then you will just be relying on placing your hands to your hips leaning forward, pushing the weight up through the heels, and then coming back down. Now this is a great exercise for strengthening the legs, so this will help you with lots of daily activities, being able to walk upstairs with more ease, maybe going for a good long walk, hopping over stiles, that kind of thing. Brilliant, you've got five seconds left to go. Here we go, and five, Good, two seconds, let's see if we can get enough one. Oh, just in time, well done. So seated onto the front third of the chair, you're going to raise your right elbow up to shoulder height and then down, then the left elbow up and then lower. This is known as a single upright row. Okay, workout, here we go. Alternating, shoulders nice and low, core tucked in. So imagine where your belly button is, that you're sucking your belly button in, holding your back lovely and strong. You're feeling strong today. Good, so we're working the biceps as we're doing this activity and our shoulder muscles, a bit of the deltoids. Lovely, keep that going. Steady breath, chin up there. Good, nice and steady. Control the band and the movement as you're bringing your hands back down. Brilliant, last one, and lower. Then slowly lower the pressure off the band, lift the toes, unhook it, bring the band up to your thighs, palms facing to the ceiling, scoop them under, and then a little bit of pressure, open it out, shoulders low, low row. So the hands come right down to the midriff, a bit lower down there, and then slowly raising up. Now this is a low row, so I'm taking it to my hip creases, good, and I'm squeezing between my shoulder blades as I'm bringing my elbows in. So the elbows are close into the body, and I'm feeling my top and my ribs on my forearms as I'm scooping in. Now you really need to get a good bit of tension on this band to really get these back muscles working. This is all about the upper posture in the back. Squeeze between the shoulder blades as you're coming in. So ready, squeeze, activate, and in. Well done, have a rest for a second. Elbows close into the body. We're going to be working on an external rotation. So we're going to be separating the bands and then bringing it back in. But if you notice my elbows stay in one position, they don't move now. Here we go, so we're opening and then closing. Good. Opening and closing. I'm trying to separate that band but keeping my shoulders relaxed and low and then keeping the elbows in. Brilliant. So this is external rotation through the shoulder and this will really help strengthen those shoulder muscles and ligaments deep inside the socket there. Steady breath. Well done guys, doing well. Remember, if this is a little bit too much for you, loosen the pressure on the TheraBand. You can always hit the pause button and then come back and join me when you feel ready. Good. Now the next one, we're going to bring the band on the top and we're going to bring your feet close in together. Lift the heels, scoop the band under and you're going to wrap your legs up. Woo! Like a nice big present. And then we're going to separate the knees. Okay, off we go. So this is working your hips and the abduction muscles. So all the muscles on the side of the leg, known as your abductors, are getting worked with this exercise. Now you can pull the band tighter if you want more resistance. Really wrap it up tight. 
or if it's a bit too tight, loosen it off. Good, so I'm keeping my feet flat down on the floor and I'm just separating my knees. So ready, open and then close. Breath out, breath in and out, breath in and out and in, good. And breathe with it. Unwrap your lovely legs up, tuck, lift up the toes, Tuck the therabands underneath and we're back to our sit to stand. So feet underneath the knees, hands to the hips, off we go. Standing up, good, and then sitting down. When you're doing this exercise, do make sure that you've got the chair right behind you. We don't want any accidents. So if you're feeling a bit unsure about this one, just do a normal sit to stand without using the theraband. Good. Nice and controlled, and do use your arms on the chairs if you need them. Good stuff. Now power up through the heels as you're coming up, nice and tall, and then slowly lower back down. Brilliant, good, you've got 10 seconds to go. Super, we can do this. Raising up, nice and tall, and down. Let's squeeze in one more, ready? Up and down, super. So bring those hands a little bit lower to the front third of the chair. Now this time we're gonna be doing double arms coming out and then lowering. So back into our upright row, here we go. Double for 45 seconds. Steady breath, good. Try and get those elbows up to shoulder height. Lovely, and slowly lower the band down. You are in control of the band. Don't let that band control you. Lower it nice and slow. That's the way. Well done. Good. If it's feeling tough, remember loosen off that band there. 10 seconds to go. Keep that back strong. Tummy muscles engaged. The speed is steady. Excellent. So next one, we're going to lift up the toes, unhook the theraband, lie the band across your mat, palms facing the ceiling, scoop the hands under, and then separate them a little bit and have a bit of resistance there. Here we go, low row. So we're gonna scoop the hands forward and then into the hip creases. Good, scoop forward and in. This is a low row. And what I'd like you to do is you bring that hand into the hip, squeeze between the shoulder blades. That's it, really activate between the shoulder blades. Squeeze and raise, brilliant. Squeeze and raise. Great for upper posture, this one. Keep that tension on the band if you can. Wiggle those toes in your shoes. Keep the blood circulating around the body. That's it. Couple of seconds left to go. And breathe in. Now this time, relax, bring your elbows close into the body, get the tension on your bands, and we're going to be opening for an external rotation and then back in again. Just have a breather here. Off we go, 45 seconds. So external rotation, elbows and hands are separating from each other, coming out to the side and in. Keep the elbows close into the body. The elbows should be touching just underneath the ribs there, feeling nice and snug. Again, let's focus on our core. Where your belly button is, pull the belly button muscle in and up. Good, relax the shoulders, steady breath. Good stuff, you've got this guys, you can do it. Well done. Nearly there. And breather, fantastic. Now with your therabands, you're going to wrap up your thighs again, so bring the feet close in together, lift the heels, and then tuck the band underneath, and wrap it up nice and tight. Now you're gonna be separating the knees, and then feet close together. Here we go, 45 seconds, just in time. That's it. So if you do want to make it a little bit stronger with the resistance, just pull the bands a bit tighter. If it's too much, loosen it off. Good, now we're gonna come out and we're gonna hold it for a second, hold, 
and then bring in, well done. And then hold and in. Steady breath, hold and in, good. That's it, just holding it for that little second there will increase the muscle strength even more. Doing really well, keep it going. This is day two of your workouts. You've got this. Activity completed. Yes, well done everybody. You have made it through day two. Let's do some stretches just to cool down. Unhook yourself from the TheraBand, good stuff. And then just place the TheraBand behind you. What I'd like you to do is shuffle forward from the front third of your chair and then lengthen out your left leg. Then place your right leg over the top. So you just, just got it nice and relaxed there. Now scoop that left leg in, good. And then slightly come up forward from the hips and lean forward just a little bit to get an out of thigh stretch on that right leg. Now, if you feel flexible enough, you can see if you can bring that leg up a little bit higher. You can place it onto your knee, hands onto the ankle and onto the knee, up nice and tall and slightly come forward from the waist so you can feel that stretch on the glutes there. Good stuff. Okay, gently come back up, straighten that leg out and then place the left leg over the top. Hold it here, make sure your bottom is firmly placed onto the chair and slightly come forward. If you want to increase it, bend the knee and then lift that leg on the top there. Good, well done. Up nice and tall and come forward from the hips. Feel that lovely stretch all the way down the side of the glute and the thigh. You've been working that muscle, thigh muscle really well today. Good, and then place that foot down, super stuff. Upper back stretch, you're gonna hug a big beach ball, wrapping the arms around. Just tuck the chin down to the chest, open out between the shoulder blades. We did some great upper body postural work just then. And then release, and then push the hands away. In for a chest stretch. Good, and relax there, shake it off. Brilliant stuff folks, you have made it for your second round and I shall see you again tomorrow for round three. Have a good day, bye. Ciao, ciao.